I just changed out the microphone, guys. I went from a purple panda that was stuck to my... I stuck it inside my cheek because these purple pandas, they catch everything. Right now, I'm rocking the Moto... Movo... Motor Vloggers mic. I just put it on. And um, let's see how this sounds. The other one was really muffled, but I had no choice. I ordered this microphone twice. I need gloves, Pete. The first time, it never showed up. And I tried to get a refund and a refund and a refund and the wife was calling me. Alright guys, <laughs> can you believe February 17th and it hit 60, I believe 69 degrees today. I went on my lunch break and I'm like, I'm going to go grab some food and I'm like, nope, went and got the bike instead. Let's see if I can find neutral. This thing seems to be harder to find neutral. Uh, <laughs> right into third gear. That was second, that was first. I'll find neutral when the light turns green, watch. Nope. Why are these bikes so hard to find neutral? All right guys, so uh, hopefully you can hear me better. Um, this microphone, like I said, I got it on Amazon. It's by Movo, M-O-V-O. And um, if you just type in Movo and um, Motovlog, this pops up. So, hopefully it's good. If it's not, you're still going to hear it. <laughs> Unless it's like really absurd. Make sure my saddlebags are closed and locked. So, today's topic is, are you guys ready for this? So have you guys seen the news about Buell? Buell's coming out with this insane looking retro styling old Harley Davidson FXR Dyna looking super touring. It's called the, uh, what is it called? It's called Buell Super Tourer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe the motor is built by Buell. And the, uh, the bike itself was built by uh, RDS, uh, Roland Sands Design. That thing looks sick. Um, it, it's too bad that they don't have like a store or something that they can showcase this thing. Because on, online on the on the uh, on Instagram, the thing looks. It looks like a seriously like a badass look, look at Lambo. Maybe we can race the Lambo, guys. I'm I'm Cam now. <laughs> I just did a I just tripped my tire without even meaning to. Yeah, this thing, uh, this bike looks insane. It's got 175 horsepower. It weighs 417 pounds. I don't know if that's a wet uh, weight or a dry weight. Um, it's got that. It's got that. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the tall rear shock. It's got that mono shock. Um, Roland Sands design, they mentioned that they, uh, RDS mentioned that the rear sw I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna try to catch up to that Lambo. I gotta race the Lambo without him, whether he likes it or not. Oh, crikey. Where did he go? Oh, he's gone. Whoa, guy. Yeah, Roland Sands, they put like the uh, the old blue um, swing arm on that thing. So it's got this nice curve to it. It looks pretty cool. I don't know if that's what's giving it the extra height. Um, if you don't know Roland Sands designs, they're actually um, 
supposedly build, I don't have any of their products, but they build, from what I've heard, they actually got really good quality builds of their products. So I'm assuming that this bike's gonna look really good. It's gonna It's gonna be really good, it's gonna be built well. What's going on here? Come on Lambo, what you got boy? <laughs> So this thing's actually going to look pretty sick. I want to get along. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Sorry, I, I'm like a squirrel, man. If you guys, have, if you guys have followed me, you know that I can't, I can't keep my mind straight in one subject. I just can't. I don't know why. I get distracted way too easily. I look around. I look at things and then I get distracted. This bike is, uh, it looks insane. It looks like a, a, like somebody mentioned on one of our chats, a glorified dyno. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it was FXR inspired. Oh man, I want it to go that way. I'm not going to make that, am I? I can't even ride straight. <laughs> See? I can't talk and walk at the same time. This bike feels good. I'm going. This thing feels awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk about the bike. The Buell Super Cruiser. Built by Buell and RSD. Imagine that, 175 horsepower. It looks like it's gonna have a uh, water cooler. It looks like there's some type of radiator out in the front. I'm assuming it has to, with all that uh, horsepower and stuff probably gonna have to be a water cooled but they did this insane burnout inside the shop I mean granted it's only a burnout anybody can do a burnout they could have had the wheels chopped but the thing was insane the thing looks good now the reason why I'm saying is it's too bad that they don't have a store because it looks what you see sometimes is deceiving of what you really get like imagine and you don't have a store so you, they want you to pre-order you pre-order this thing right the thing looks good, da, 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 you know, the specs, everything looks amazing, you want to get it, you get it, finally get it delivered to your house, and it's the size of a sportster. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, oh, this, I got, oh, oh, I got a new tune on this bike from uh, Vance and Hines. They sent me a map tuned to my specific pipe and my, uh, uh, cans and that made a difference I can feel this puppy pool and that was a 50 year pool which I did well, I remember last time I did this pool on the highway it was kind of eh -eh. but anyway back to the subject Pete back to the subject why do you keep getting off topic because that's what I do I don't know how this audio is going to come out man I'm really hoping this audio comes out great I'm feeling really excited I can't believe we're in the middle of February 69 degrees I'm on Going 60 miles an hour or whatever because of traffic. I'm gonna get off over here though. So I don't know, what do you guys think about the new Buell? If you haven't seen it, I'll post a couple of pictures here and I'll see if I can um, maybe grab a video or something from them off of the internet. But the bike looks insane. I love, love, love the wheels on this bike. Not this bike, their bike, the Buell. Absolutely love the wheels. It's got that sporty look to it. The front tire looks a little on the smaller side. The rear tire looks a little on the bigger side. It's got that hot rod look to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the exhaust, I'm iffy about. You know, I'd have to hear how it sounds, I guess, in person. 
Because what you hear on the internet and what you hear in real life is two different things. I think the ass end could be lowered a little bit, like another inch. It doesn't have to be that tall. It's, it's kind of like a, a sport bike, so I guess maybe it needs to be that tall to give itself some ground clearance. And I hit neutral. I found neutral the first time. <laughs> Boy, I'm just too excited today. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Yeah, sorry about the center beeping. I have no idea what the problem is with this center. The center just loves to sit there and beep at me. This is where Harley Davidson messed up. Harley Davidson, you missed the boat on this. I'm not, I've never once in my video, my channel picked on you. Yes, I did, I did once. I was sticking up for the million dollar bogan. I know you still got that secret bike coming out that's gonna shock everybody but it's not gonna shock everybody like this Buell motorcycle has. This Buell motorcycle is pretty badass man. Everybody's into these big power plants right now. It's the big craze before we go electric Harley Davidson. Go crazy man! Put a 140, 150, whatever, 175 motor inside <laughs> of a street bomb. Put the Pan America, the Revo, whatever motor that is on the Pan America uh, on some bikes, man. I hear that those things got some pretty decent numbers. It's nowhere near the numbers that the Buell's going to put out. So they're claiming that they're going to put out. Man, Harley Davidson, step up your game a little. Just a little, man. I don't want to see these guys fail. I love Harley Davidson. <laughs> this thing, this thing launches. Tell your marketing team to stop growing old, man. They have all these old farts that I just want to care about paint and finish and chrome. Come on, man. We're past that stage. I'm going to get fuel here, so don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future content, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.